Now, so given that one in three uh, people in Europe will be diagnosed with cancer and the fact that they are living much longer now, um, what do you see are the problems of cancer patients in Europe? Well, I think there needs to be a much greater understanding among legislators that cancer patients uh, may live for a long time with various problems associated with their treatment. We tend to think that somebody's either cured or they're not cured, but now cancer has become, if you like, a sort of chronic illness with chronic effects, and the legislation must keep up with that. I don't think it has. Okay. And, you know, with the problems faced by cancer patients in relation to employment and private insurance, how do you think European legislation can be improved uh, to stop discrimination against cancer patients? Well, discrimination against cancer patients, which leads insurance companies to refuse to insure somebody, for instance, that has been 25 years free of cancer, I think that it will, it will have to, we would have to deal with it at a European level. For instance, by changing the definition of disability mm -hmm. and widening it, and I think we can do that uh, across uh, European legislation. It will take some effort on the part of MEPs and indeed the Commission, but it has to be done because d d directives and other legislation must keep up with uh, the way medical advances are being made and with the soci socio-cultural situation that is, exists in European countries. And we have done it in other areas, so now this is the next phase. And how can the European Council League, CCL, support the MEPs in making that change? Well, you can supply us with information and, and, and resources. That's what we need. We need advice about exactly what is needed and then we uh, make attempts to see what we can do about it. It may take quite a long time. It involves changing the employment directives and other ones. But uh, MEPs will cooperate across political groups in these areas too and that's crucial that you, you are in contact with all the political groups and MEPs in other countries. Okay. Thank you, Nessa.